happy humans. Are you ready to take a bath? Yeah, we got to get all scrubby dubby clean. Oh, you're still playing? Okay. Well, we still have to take a bath. So when you're done, you let me know and then we'll get in the bath after that. Okay? Woom fruit. Five minutes till bath time. Ish. Uh-huh. Now, I know you're still playing, and that toy is not going to destroy itself. So you have five minutes to get to a stopping point, and then we have to put you in the bathtub. You smell like onion? I don't know why. It's my job to fix that. So wrap it up. Bath time. Do you want a red bath or a green bath? Blue's not an option. So red bath, green bath, you pick or I do. Okay, red bath. I'm going to go make that right. Right, Felicity, have a good day at school. Mum, I haven't got my school bag. Oh, no. Oh, did you not pick it up from the side like I asked? I forgot it. Oh, Felicity. <laughs> D don't worry. Don't get upset, my princess. Don't get upset. It's fine. I'll ring my boss on the way and say I'm going to be a little bit late. Don't worry. We'll get it. Okay. Okay, sweetheart. Don't worry. Okay. Come on. Let's go and get it. Right, have a good day at school. Mum, I haven't got my school bag. I hope you're joking. I hope you're taking the piss. What did I say before we left? I said, have you got your bag? You said yes. You're taking a fucking piss out of me, you are. Well, we're going to have to go home, aren't we? I don't know why you're crying for. It's me that's going to be late for work. Honestly, you're getting on my tits today. This is where I would beat the living shit out of that turd burger. No way you speak to your mother like that. My mom would say, I took you, brought you into this world, I can take you out. Where the, and she's staying calm. Ooh, Jesus hell. How do so many adults think it is okay to tell me to beat the shit out of my children? Listen, just because our parents normalized abusing their children doesn't mean that we have to continue that cycle. Just because our parents were never taught how to process their emotions in a healthy way, so in turn they took those emotions out on their kids, doesn't mean that we have to continue that cycle. Do we go around beating the shit out of other adults on the street when they do something we don't like? No! Because that's called assault! Also, my mother used to say that to me too, and it's essentially saying, hey, I pushed you out of my vagina, so now I get to unalive you when you piss me off. No! That's called first degree murder! What the fuck? How about we stop the generational trauma in its tracks? How about we stop taking our big emotions out on our children and expect them to just have theirs in check and instead be the adult and the parent in the equation and take a fucking pause and maybe leave the goddamn room if you have to. Go in your bathroom. Scream it out. Take a moment to process your big emotions like a fucking adult and then come back in the room and then help your children process their big emotions. Just because you're both having big emotions in the same moment does not mean that yours is more important than theirs. Blech. I just got done taking my eight-year-old to therapy, and yesterday I took my six-year-old to therapy because I am genuinely trying to stop the generational trauma in its fucking tracks and help my children not only have a safe space to feel their emotions, but teach them the tools so that whenever I'm not there, they can do it on their own. How about we make the choice to just be better? Because it's exactly that. It's a fucking choice. It's not an easy fucking choice. I'll tell you that right fucking now. The amount of times that I've had to go in my bathroom and scream it the fuck out and then come out and be mom. <laughs> Lost count. It's okay to be human. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have big emotions. But you get to choose how you react to those big emotions. You get to choose how you process those. And by the way, the only person that's allowed to call my kids a turd burglar is me. One more person fucking tells me I need to beat the shit out of my kids. I swear to God, I'm going to jail. Have a great fucking day, assholes. Bye. Look at it. Oh, did you panic? It's okay. This video makes my heart equal parts happy and sad. I'm happy for this child and for the mother she has and for the understanding that accidents happen. And little kids are little kids and they're learning. And I'm sad because I wish my parents had done this for me when I was a kid. I would have got yelled at.
Are you upset? Are you upset? Me. That's okay. Me. Can you take a deep breath? Me. Good job. Good job. Okay. I will give it back to you, but you cannot hit the window. Okay? Take a deep breath. Okay. Take a deep breath, and then I'll give it back. Good job, Braylon. Wipe the tears off your face. Wipe them off. Okay. We're not going to hit with it, right? We're going to clean with it. Yeah. Don't hit the window or I'm going to take it away again. And I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but if gentle parenting doesn't come naturally to you, it is not your fault. Part of gentle parenting is understanding that everything you do is modeling behavior for your children. So if the behavior that you are exhibiting is undesirable, you learned it somewhere. You probably saw the reactions that you are giving your children when you were a child. That's probably how you were reacted to. Because even though your toddler might only be three years old and you might be 32 years old and you might have 29 years experience on them as a human, you've only been a parent for three years, right? So like, give yourself some grace. You have been a parent as long as they've been alive. Like y'all are getting to know each other at the same time. You're both figuring out this journey together. And parenting is supposed to be challenging. We we didn't we weren't born into this world knowing what to do. We had to figure it out as as we as we grew up and and we're just in a, a new phase of life. Parenthood is still existing and still learning. Like we are still learning how to exist as well. So there's a reason it doesn't come naturally especially when those hard parts that take so much control and so much diligence to figure out and to, to hone those skills, when those things aren't modeled for you, it's just, it makes it like, it makes it so much harder because you literally don't, like you don't know what it looks like to regulate yourself. You don't know how, you, you've never seen it done. So if you are to a point in your journey of parenthood where you have decided you want to do better or that you're looking at the way you've reacted to something and, and you feel like you didn't handle it the right way, you're there, that's, that's step one. Like at this point, all you have to do is just consistently act. And I know that sounds easier said than done, but I promise if I can do it, we can all do it. Hope this helps. Love you, bye. The cat, please get out the captain. Get your motherfucking ass! So gentle parenting isn't talking to your child like, oh, little Billy, you gotta stop. Stop that little bit. That's not gentle parenting. If I need a kid to do something, I'm gonna walk up, hey, little Billy, this is what we're doing now. I'm going to say what you should be doing as opposed to what you shouldn't be doing. This is because the brain focuses on the things that you're telling it to focus on. So when you say, don't look at this gray folder, you're going to look at the gray folder, even though I told you not to, because it's in the face. It's, it's what you're focusing. But if I were to say, hey, look at me, you're now going to look at me versus looking at the folder. So when you're yelling at your child, it's not because they're not focused on that. It's because you scared them so much that they're focusing on you. Instead of doing that, just say what they should be focusing on, which is you, or walk up to them and remove the distractor completely, getting on their level, moving them out of the way. Hey, we're doing this now. It's that simple. Yes, at some point I should stop this. Theo. So I saw this video and thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about the differences between permissive parenting, which is what we saw in this video, and gentle parenting. This video is two minutes straight of a mom telling her toddler, no, no, don't do that. No, make a better choice. No, no, don't do that. And then after two full minutes of the child not listening, the mom yells. And the video says why gentle parenting doesn't work. That is not gentle parenting. And it is videos like this that give gentle parenting such a bad rep. Just because you are remaining calm and not yelling at your kid does not mean you are gentle parenting. Permissive parenting is when you're allowing these behaviors to continue without consequence. You are continually letting your child do whatever they want. Gentle parenting, we're going to meet our kid where they're at developmentally. For a toddler this age, I'm going to say probably redirection or distraction is going to be your best bet. Or if you want to attempt to correct the behavior, say no with a reason that they can understand. Saying make a better choice is not going to make sense to a toddler brain. They still don't listen after the first time you follow through with a natural consequence that will make sense in their brain. But sitting and watching this behavior for two Two minutes straight saying no 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 it magically expecting the behavior to correct and then getting frustrated and yelling at your child that is lazy parenting it's not gentle parenting before anyone tries to leave a comment saying something like your child only listens to you if you yell at them it's likely because they learned that there was no consequence coming after the first second third time you told them no and that it was only once you yelled that they actually had to listen to you the point of making this video was not to tell anyone how to parent I just don't like that people are making videos like this making gentle parenting look bad when that's not actually what was happening in this video. Hope this helps.
Okay, this is what I mean when I say you don't have to be a gentle person to be a gentle parent. Go back and watch the video and then come back. Okay, so given the context that the mom provided, it was way past bedtime. So that temper tantrum, that was overtired. It wasn't the big mad, it wasn't the big sad, it wasn't the big scared. It was just, it's time for bed and you really need it, kid. There's no regulating through overtired or hanger. You fix overtired or hanger by going to bed or eating. This is true for adults and children. But the mom didn't yell. She didn't scream. She didn't belittle. She didn't match energy. She just calmly walked over, grabbed the lovey, and then the kid by the ankle. She wasn't rough with her. She wasn't yanking her around. She gently dragged her down the hall. And if you listen to the end of the video, you can even hear the kids start giggling. Kids are still going to be kids even while you gentle parent them. This mom set a boundary, held the line, calmly communicated, and just mwah. Happy people, we've been very quiet. Oh, because we found mommy's makeup. Oh, um, were you being little artists? Yes, you were. <laughs> very expensive art supplies. Okay, we're going to clean this up together. Yeah, and then... Mommy's going to buy a padlock for her makeup cabinet. Hey, Mess Magnus, this is a bad quiet. Oh, that is a mortgage payment's worth of makeup not in its palette anymore. <sighs> mommy is mad. Yep, Mommy's mad. Uh, pretty sure it herself. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a minute. Did you eat any of the makeup? Ah, okay, there's no glitter teeth. Uh, I will be back when I am calm again. Oh, my fucking God. Okay, mistakes were made on all sides. Let's clean this up and then we'll talk about touching things that are not ours and putting our shit away. On. Yes, my darling angel boy. I've just remembered I got food technology tomorrow. Brandon, what have we said about school? You need to start expressing yourself more vocally. I need to know if you've got stuff planned for tomorrow. Right, go get me a list and I'll go to the shops. Go on. Mom. What? I've just remembered I've got food technology tomorrow. You're fucking taking the piss out of me, you are. You're telling me at half past past nine at night. Go and get your list and you best hope, pray and believe we've got this shit in the cupboards. Otherwise, you're fucked. Talk about it. I need some space. You need some space? I need you to come back, Bubba, because there's lots of cars over there. And it's not very safe. You to be there by yourself. Me and mommy to carry you. I want mommy to hold my hand and walk. Oh, you want to hold mommy's hand and walk? Yeah. Okay, so you can be safe around the cars? Yeah. You need to be holding mama's hand all the time. Okay, because we're going to be around cars a lot now. And if you start to try and run off, then we're going to either pick you up or put you in the buggy, okay? Okay. Yeah? Do you want to have an outfit? Yeah, please. Okay. Watch this comedian perfectly gentle parent a heckler. Two hecklers. I'll give, I will literally give you one more time. Do you, are you understanding what's happening or not? Because if, if it hasn't been properly explained, every time you talk, that's heckling. Okay, first he reminds them of the expectation of behavior and why their behavior is not appropriate in the moment. You can't do it because now we're doing this. So if you talk again, you're out and you're not getting refunded. Do you, does that compute? Okay. Then he gives them two choices that he feels good about and sets the boundary. Do you want to stay? Like, if you want to go now, you can go also, if, you, if you've had enough. The, the deal is you can't talk during our sets unless we talk to you. We said it during the announcement. It's how all stand-up comedy works. Okay, now you see him uphold his boundary when the expectation for behavior was not met. She's out because she got the rules and poked the bear. So if we can get security, we're going to get her out. You're okay for now, but now you see what's happening. Well, you know what you did. What do you mean? I don't care what anybody says. Gentle parenting is not just for parents with their kids.